Hey guys, it's Miss Felice here. Let's get started with some phonics, okay? So there's going to be times we're just listening, there's going to be times we're talking, and there's going to be times that you guys need to write, okay? So let's go ahead. We're looking at words that have two O's in them and the sounds that those can make. So let's check out spoon first. Right now I just want you listening and then you're going to get to practice it with me, okay? Spoon. Spoon. Let's do it again. Spoon. Spoon. In this word, the double O makes an oo sound. Oo. Okay? Now I want you guys to say it with me, okay? Get your finger and hand ready. Spoon. Spoon. Oon. Let's do it again. Spoon. Spoon. All right, let's go ahead and listen again as I show you another word with that double O, foot. In this word, the double O makes a different sound. Foot, 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 okay? Say it with me this time. Are we ready? Foot. These double O's are making an uh sound, all right? We're gonna quick read the book, Room for Moose, and I want you guys listening and looking for words that have that double O, okay? When you see them, since we're not in class right now and you're at home, you can just shout the words out. Usually in class, I would make you touch your nose, but right now, hey, since you're at home, just go ahead and shout it out, okay? And then tell your mom, sorry, Miss Felice told me to do it. All right, let's go ahead and look at room for moose. I'm going to pull it up here for us. A room for moose. A room for moose. Here's some of our high frequency words that we're working on this week too, so we can look for those in the story. I'm going to read the list and then I want you to read it too. Another. Does. Some. Wash. Your turn. I'm going to point to the words. You read them. Great job. A room for moose. Listening for those words that have the double O, or you can look for them and shout them out. Whoops, Miss Bailey's flip pages. Oh no, my goodness. Let's go back. There we go. It was a cool day. Owl stood by his bookshop. Hoot, hoot, it is a special day, Owl hooted. Soon, Sheep joined Owl. I made this with my wool, said Sheep. Owl took a look. It is a good gift. Kangaroo hopped by with his big broom. I must wash the windows. I must sweep by noon. Boo scooted out of her coop. I cooked some good food. I will make a sign for the roof too. So many words with that double O. We must, oh, I did it again. We must be done by noon, said Shoop. Sheep. We have wood, said Goose. Who has the tools? Owl does. They worked hard and were done by noon. Then they waited, clip, clop, clip, clop. He's here, said Owl. Welcome, Moose. We made a room for you. Moose looked. Thanks, he said. It's the best room for a moose. Great job. All right, we're gonna go back now and start to do some of our writing, okay? So, to begin, let's listen, all right? I'm gonna say a couple words for you, and I'm gonna say the sounds in zoom, okay? Listening carefully. Zoom, zoom. Now listen to this. I'm gonna take away the m sound from that word. Zoo, zoo. The word zoom without the m is zoo. Great job listening. Now we're going to keep going, okay? 
let's go ahead and practice these words, okay? I'm going to say a word and then we're going to take one of the sounds away. Listen to this first one. Stool. 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 Now, listening carefully, I'm going to say it again and then I want you to think of what would the word be if we took the S away? The S sound. Stool. Now you try. Go ahead and say, what would it be if I took away the S stool without the S tool? Did you get it right? Stool. Let's take away that sound. T tool. Tool. Pretty cool. Let's try another one. Ready? You're listening first. Spool. 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 There's a spool of thread. That's where the string on the thread goes around and around. Now I want you to think about what if I get rid of the s sound in spool? Spool. It's a blend at the beginning, but if you get rid of the s, what sound would, what word would it be? Spool. Try it yourselves. Take away the s sound. What word did you make? Pool. P pool. Pool. That's spool without the sound. Let's try one more and then we'll get to writing, okay? Broom. Br oom. Broom. Listen to that blend at the beginning. Br oom. Broom. Okay, now I want you to take away the b sound. It won't be broom anymore. What word will broom be without the b? Go ahead and say it yourself. Give it a try. Room. R oom. That's without the b sound, right? Okay, ready to do some words with me, my friends? Let's go ahead and give some of these a try. So now you are going to be doing some writing, okay? And I'm going to put this up there because we don't need to see that anymore. I do need to see this, though. Guys, I'm learning, so I appreciate you just giving Miss Felice the chance to learn and get better at this, right? Okay, I'm going to change this. We'll start with black, okay? Let's go ahead and try this word. Soon. Soon. Stretch it out with me. Soon. 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 Go ahead. You write it and I'll check it up here for you. Soon. Did you get it perfect? I bet you did. Let's try another one. Listening first. Hook. Now stretch it out with me. Hook. Uh, Hook. It rhymes with look, and you all know how to spell that. Hook. Go ahead, write it. Check it with me. Hook. Perfect job. I'm so proud of you. All right, here comes our next word. Good. I hope you had a good breakfast today so that you're ready for learning. Good. Stretch it out with me. So Miss Felice is kind of having you do a couple of things, right? Right now you're listening. You're speaking and you're writing. Wow, I've got you busy right now, huh? Good, g, good, good, g, good, good. Go ahead and write it. Do your very best. All right, let's check it. G good. Good. That's a sight word, too, that most of you should know, right? So when you see it in a book, you just go, this is good. Easy peasy. But now you know about the sounds that those double O's make, too. So your brain is making new connections. All right. Ooh, since it's spring, the flowers are starting to bloom. Let's stretch it out. I hear a blend at the beginning of this one. Let's listen. 
bloom. Bloom. Say it with me. Stretch it out with me and listen to that blend. Bloom. Bloom. I bet you got it perfect. You guys are experts with blends. Go ahead and write it. Now I'm going to check it with you. Bloom. Uh oh, too big. Bloom. Did you get it perfect? Yeah, you did. If you didn't, it's okay. You can go ahead and just fix it yourself, okay? All right. Let's try another word. Smooth. Smooth. Oh, my skin's not that smooth. I wash my hands so much that my hands are a little rough. But if I put lotion on them, they'd probably be smooth. This one's got a blend at the beginning too. So let's stretch it out together, okay? We're listening and talking right now so that we can stretch it out. Smooth. What do you hear at the end of smooth? It should remind you of some words that you know and are experts at. Blend it out. Stretch it out with me again. Ready? Smooth. Listen to that blend at the beginning. And what sound is happening at the end? Ready to check it? Sm. Did you get that blend perfect? Ooh. Did you get the TH at the end? I know sometimes it tricks us and we think it sounds like a V, huh? But it wasn't. Great job. Let's keep going here. Let's try some more words. Ready? All right. Let's shake it up and switch our color just to have fun. We're going to do some blue words now. Ready? Wood. Ah, oh, wood. Stretch that out with me, friends. Wood. Ooh, that one's like foot, right? It has that uh sound in the middle. Let's stretch it out again. Wood. Wood. You go ahead and write it, and then we'll check it, okay? Stretch it out as you're writing it. Say those sounds. I should hear you. Good job. Wood. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go ahead and try another one. Do I hear you stretching out your sounds? That's what good readers and writers do. So it really gets in our head, right? If we say it, we write it, we listen to it, it makes it easier to remember. All right, ready? Shook. The wind shook the tree and the leaves fell off. Let's stretch it out. Listen to that blend at the beginning. Shook. Shook. Say it again with me. Shook. Shook. Go ahead and give it a try. You know it's got that double O. Let's see how it looks. Shook. I bet you got it just right. Remember, if you didn't, it's okay. Fix it. Try it again. Read it to yourself and say those sounds as you're writing it, okay? All right, here comes our next word. Tooth. Has anybody lost a tooth lately? I know Saul did. I wonder if anybody else did. I have to come to your guys' next morning meeting so I can see if there's any holes in those mouths. All right, ready? Let's stretch out tooth. Tooth. Listen to that sound at the end. Stretch it out with me again. Tooth. Tooth. Go ahead, give it a try. Write it for me. Give it your very best try. Say the sounds as you're writing it. Let's check it. T Oof. Awesome job. All right. You guys are experts, aren't you? I am super proud. Okay, now I want us to remember some of the sounds that we did last week. Because we do need to review to make sure we're doing our very best learning, right? So we're going to hide these because these are some of our oi sounds from last week. Who remembers what letters can make that oi sound? There's a couple different options. Let's go with green here so we can really see it. Oi might be with O-I, or it might be with O-Y. Let's try a couple of those words. Everybody ready? How about foil? We wrap our food with foil. Remember, you can try both and see which one looks right, but let's stretch it out. Oil. When the oi is right in the middle, it's usually which one? Talk to me. Tell me what you think. Let's stretch it out one more time while you write it. 
Foil. Foil. Go ahead and check it with me. Foil. Foil. Great job. All right. How about this one? I think you all know this one. Boy. B boy. Boy. Was it too easy? I can just hear you guys saying, that's too easy, Miss Felis. Let's go ahead, stretch it out. As we write it, we say the sounds. B boy. Great job. All right. How about this? Point. Quick point at me. Let's stretch it out and listen where it's the oi sound. Point. Hmm, it's kind of in the middle, so I wonder which letters it should be. Which vowel team should it be? Point. Listen to those two sounds at the end. Point. Go ahead, give it your best try. And let's write it and see how it looks. Point. If you did it perfect, way to go. If you didn't, don't be hard on yourself. Just fix it and keep on trying. The more we try, the more we practice, the better we get. One last oi word for us, ready? Joy! Joy means happy. It can also be a person's name. My mom's best friend is named Joy. You ready to stretch it out with me? J oi. <gasps> That reminds me of a word we already wrote where the oi is at the end. J oi. Joy. Go ahead and write it. I'm going to write it like it's a name. What would I change to make it look like a name? Oi. That's right. I used the capital letter at the beginning. My brilliant friends. Let's go ahead and work now on our sight words. Are we ready? Let's see, we haven't had any purple today. Let's do some purple. I love purple. And that's Morgan's favorite color too. Okay, ready? Does. Does anyone know where to find a beautiful dress? Does. Let's go ahead and write it. D O E S does. I want you to write it three times. Say the letters as you write it. D O E S does. D O E S does. Make sure you get it three times. Once you've got it those three times, we're going to hide it and you're going to give your best try. Go ahead, write it. Does. Say the letters as you write it and check it. Did you get it perfect? I hope so. If not, remind yourself, oh, does is a word I need to keep practicing. Let's go on to our next sight word. Another. Another. A-N-O-T-H-E-R. Another. Say it with me. A N O. T H E R, another. Write it three times. Each time you write it, say the letters. A N O T H E R, another. Once you think you've got it, picture it in your head. I'm going to hide it from you. I got to make my rectangle bigger. Go ahead, give it a try on your own. Another. Say those letters as you write it. If that one's feeling tricky or any of your sight words are feeling tricky, remember you can practice writing them in the air too with your magic finger. That is another way to help your brain make those connections. All right, moving on to our next sight word. Our next sight word is wash. Wash. I need to wash my clothes. I have to wash the jammies and the leggings and all the comfy clothes because that's what we like wearing right now. Wash. W-A-S-H, wash. Go ahead, write it three times. Say those letters as you write it. W-A-S-H, wash. Do it again. W-A-S-H, wash. Get it in your head. Close your eyes and picture it up there. I can see the letters. Mine are glowing yellow. 
Wash. Give it a try without peeking. Wash. You've got to cover it up on your paper too with your hand, okay? No peeking. Check it. Did you get it perfect? Great job. All right, here comes our last sight word for today. Some. This is a really important word to know when you see it in reading. So you can just read it because you can't sound it out. And it's an important word to be able to write for the same reason, okay? S-O-M-E, some. The reason we have to know it is because it's got a silent E on the end, but it's not being bossy. It doesn't make the O say its name, okay? Say those letters, S-O-M-E, some. Write it three times. Say the letters each time you write it. When you're ready, picture it in your head, cover it up on your paper, and give it your best try. Way to go. Guys, this was really fun, and I'm excited that I'm learning a new way to do these lessons on my computer. My next one's even going to be better, okay, because I'm going to practice and get really good at this. I miss you all. Keep doing your work, and remember... Sight words are so important for you to learn right now. Okay? Bye-bye.